So hello, my name is Dr. Rita Blake. I am the manager of education here at the California Nanosystems Institute at, at UCLA. So for those of you who are here with us today for the first time, welcome to CNSI and welcome to UCLA. Um, I'm going to be the MC for today uh, for these presentations. And uh, first of all, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an introduction to what CNSI is and to what your students have been doing for the last uh, four and a half days with us. So. The CNSI is a pretty interesting place. Unlike many of the other departments on campus, we are actually not a typical academic department. We are a research institution that brings together public and private investment to look at the issues and the research questions that are centered around nanoscience and nanotechnology, which is science and technology at the nanoscale. And if you don't know what that is, I'm pretty sure that by the end of today, you will. So basically, we have uh, four different uh, major thrusts that we focus on here as an institute. One is team science, which means that we bring together faculty from all over the campus in science, in technology, and engineering, and math to do research, again, around nanoscience. Um, we have a really big uh, set of uh, technology centers downstairs that uh, many of which your students actually got to work with uh, for this course. Uh, especially our microscopes, which you guys will learn about. Um, we have an entrepreneurship program where we have an incubator that houses around 20 or so startup companies, not exclusively in nanoscience and nanotech, though many of them do enter that field. And of course, we have an education platform, uh, one big component of which are these summer programs. So there are a lot of people, both in the Institute and uh, who worked in this program that helped make today possible and this whole week possible. So I need to do some thanks before we get into everything. So first of all, um, our director, Dr. Jeff Miller, um, who was also actually one of the guest lecturers for the students because he does amazing research on the microbiome, on precision antibiotics. And so he talked about his work. And our executive director, Sonia Luna, who helps everything run in this building and help support all of our activities. Um, we had a lot of staff working both with students and behind the scenes. Um, so I want to uh, specifically thank these four people here, especially Dr. Elaine Morita, who is our education program coordinator and who helps keep all of the chaos that is involved in running a summer program together. So I have to give a big thank you to her. Thank you to our events coordinator, Jeremy, to our events manager, Kevin, who helped get everyone prepared this morning and was helping us throughout the week. And also Mark, who is in the back as well, helping with live streaming and who put together the wonderful slideshow that is out in the lobby of the things that were happening during the week. And then in terms of the instruction, we have had, again, multiple people assisting. We had three main instructors for this course, one of whom is sitting right there, uh, Dr. Adam Stieg, who is the associate director of the technology centers and also the director specifically of one of the centers, the NanoPico Characterization Lab, and the technical uh, interim director of the clean room. Uh, we have Dr. Laurent Bentalila, who is the director of the Advanced Light Microscopy Lab and also a researcher here at the CNSI, so he worked with the students on light microscopy. And we have Dr. Hongzhou, whose focus is on electron microscopy, and he runs the Electron um, Imaging Center, uh, again, one of the tech centers here at UCLA. So those were their three main instructors who each gave them um, instruction on their specific technique of expertise. We also had major, major help from um, Dr. Michael Lake, who is an assistant instructor for this course, and he is a, sta a, sa a staff scientist um, here at CNSI who is familiar with all of the techniques as well. He was, he was there to support um, the different labs that they were doing and also give them feedback and advice for the project, so kind of serving as an advisor for them. And we also had a wonderful teaching assistant this year um, named Brian, Brian Jong. He is a graduate student here at UCLA and he was also there to help them out uh, in the evenings with homework, with projects, um, and it was really, really wonderful to have him this year. So I have to thank all of the instructors for all of their work this year. So it's been a very, very busy week for these students. They've been doing quite a lot in a very short period of time. Um, in the four days that they've been with us thus far, today being the fifth, 
Um, they've learned about three different advanced imaging techniques so that they can see things on the micro and especially the nanoscale. They learned about advanced light microscopy. They learned about electron microscopy. They learned about scanning probe microscopy. And they learned about these three techniques with the goal of understanding how these imaging tools can be used to actually ask and answer questions and to develop new uh, new cures for diseases, new strategies uh, for, for uh, discovering new technologies. And specifically, we asked them to look at these different techniques in the context of two different uh, grand challenges, uh, which are the Brain Initiative, which looks at understanding the brain and developing new tools that are inspired by the brain, and also the microbiome, which they will, again, I am very sure in these presentations, tell you about. Um, so for these final presentations, we ask them to do one of two things, either to tell us how can current instruments address a question of their choosing within these two grand challenges, or what new instruments should be developed to address one of these grand challenges. So we, uh, so they put themselves into groups of three. Um, they're going to present now. So each group is going to have uh, between six and seven minutes, roughly, to do their presentation. Um, I will be timing, so at the seven minute mark, you will hear a noise, which doesn't mean I'm gonna pull you off the stage, but it means to try and, you know, uh, to wrap it up if you haven't finished yet, but they'll get around seven minutes. And then we'll have about three minutes of Q&A. And by Q&A, this is open to everyone. So students, if you want to ask questions, instructors, of course, will be asking questions. Parents, if you guys have questions, please ask them. This is your opportunity to learn about what your students learned. So please, please, please ask questions. It is a more fun time the more questions get asked. So please do not be shy about asking if you don't understand something. So with that being said, um, I am going to transition it over to our students. So team one, would you please come up? And let's give all of our teams a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> 